this video, we will cover the topic of glycol gas dehydration system. Natural gas often contains water which can cause damage to pipelines and equipment through formation of hydrates. The water can also cause corrosion to downstream pipelines and equipment. Thus the water must be removed. The water is removed from the gas using water absorbing material known as glycol. Lean glycol is glycol which contains no water. The heat exchanger is used to cool the glycol to increase the absorption efficiency. To further increase the efficiency of the glycol absorption, the lean glycol must be in maximum contact with the wet gas. This is achieved by using a vertical vessel called the absorber or contactor containing bubble cap trays. Gas will flow up in the opposite direction of the glycol which flows down. The dry gas will exit the top of the absorber. The rich glycol leaves from the bottom of the absorber. Rich glycol is glycol which contains water. Rich glycol also contains small amounts of carried over gas and oil. To be converted back to lean glycol, the rich glycol will need to go through the regeneration process. The rich glycol will flow through the coils in the glycol surge tank. The purpose is to preheat the rich glycol. This will increase the efficiency of the regeneration process as the process need to increase the rich glycol temperature to remove the water. The rich glycol then flows into the glycol flash drum. The purpose is to remove gas and oil. The gas flashes off the rich glycol on entering the flash drum and is discharged from the top of the flash drum. The oil will discharge from the bottom of the flash drum. The rich glycol will then flows into the glycol filter. The purpose is to remove any solids contaminants. Typically, sock type filter will be used. The filter element will be changed periodically, depending on the differential pressure across the filter. The rich glycol then flows to the still column of the reboiler. The purpose is to remove the water. The glycol vapor condensed when come in contact with the cool glycol. Thus, condensed glycol will drop onto the tray in the still column and subsequently flows downwards. Hot vapor arising from the reboiler will be in contact with the rich glycol. The water vapor remains as vapor and discharged from the top of the still column. The glycol in the reboiler is maintained above the fire tubes of the heater by a whir. The lean glycol overflows down into the glycol surge tank. The lean glycol is circulated back to the glycol absorber using the circulating pump. We are at the end of the video. Hope you find this video useful in understanding how glycol gas dehydration system works. Please feel free to subscribe to this channel to learn more about other engineering topics. Do leave your comments if you have any topic that you would like us to cover in future videos. Thanks for watching this video.